Good morning, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica of Higher Realm Holistics, Medical Empathic Intuitive, Lightworker Sherpa, Hol Certified Holistic Integrative, Holistic and Integrative Health Nurse, and writer of the children's book, How the Caterpillar Flew, which is an activation book, rhyming book, was number one, new release, book in verse on Amazon, is available on all major online book retailers. Thank you, Patreons, which I did that uh, be a video for you, a demonstration video. It's all, I put it there a few days ago. And uh, thank you, supporters. And thanks, everyone, that came out live yesterday for the sound bath. It was really cool. I do have it on the replay, so if anyone, you could still, you could still benefit. Sorry about the noise. You could still benefit from the sound bath, okay? So, um, sorry about that. That's way across the water. Just a loud truck. Um, so you could benefit from the sound bath, okay? Um, I'm going to try again to do it next Tuesday. Uh, it's a friend of mine. She just opened up her new studio. She was further out west. Now she's back on the beach side. So now I can go. Um, so it's at 8:30. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Time, 8.30 p.m. So um, check it out. You could check out what we did yes, last night. And I know somebody asked me about the tuning forks. She did tuning forks right to the screen. It's very powerful and everything, okay? Because it's not just singing bowls. It's tuning forks. It's the gong. It's hand pan. It's a whole cornucopia of sound, <laughs> okay? Um, and I really need to make this very important announcement for anyone who orders from me. Please, 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 please. And I've said this so many times and people come at me saying I didn't send them their order. If you're ordering from work, your PayPal sends me where you place that order. And it is, it will be, or whatever, if that's the, if that's connected to your PayPal, your um, like work or job or business email like like say it's Veronica Veronica Jean Lewis at higherrealmholistics.com usually like half the time I cannot send links to those emails so if you know you have those emails I have a few people who did this and it keeps coming back to me cannot accept email cannot accept email so please guys if you placed an order with me if you don't get it within 24 hours because I usually do in 24 hours or less a lot less usually than 24 hours I just say 24 hours because people get so angry if I don't do it that second because I'm not at my computer I'm at work you know um, so please send me an email from a private personal email address saying I placed this order for blah 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 okay I have two people out there who for the past few days, I've been trying to send their, their, their links, and it keeps coming back to me, undeliverable, undeliverable. And also, check your, check your junk mail, check your spam, okay? And make sure your mailbox not full. That's another problem I keep having. Mailbox full, mailbox full. Come on, guys. Okay? So, please, there are some people out there, if you didn't get your order and you placed it, like say within like the past 10 hours say you placed it in the past few days and you didn't get it email me from a personal email thank you now I want to talk about this uh, these ascension symptoms going on right now oh my god <clears throat> two major ones I'm having and it's so great to see somebody having these symptoms just like me right next to me to for verification my niece is having it also my teenage niece and it's uh, it's just it's brain fog we know it's the new moon in Gemini now what makes this new moon in Gemini it's the Gemini it's not so much the new moon it is the Gemini part because number one is an air sign and number two where it is right now it is Gemini is in the constellation of Taurus right now and it's not just not only just in the constellation of Taurus it's in the bullseye which is the great Archangel star Aldebaran and that is the star of Archangel Michael and the way it was shown to me 
that Gemini being there and being this air sign in the bullseye of Aldebaran of Taurus, it is taking the ethereal and marrying it with the with the material. So it's grounding in what we have been working on. That's what it's all about. And Archangel Michael is taking a big part of this because it is Aldebaran, his star, which is one of the most powerful stars. There are seven, five or seven Archangel stars. And of course, we all know how powerful Archangel Michael is. So during our webinar on Sunday, we will be, um, we will be conjuring Aldebaran, okay, along with some other cosmic um cosmic bodies like we'll be working with Mars because we mean business and this is something huge we are manifesting a lump sum of money that's the way I was told to me a lump sum of money so that's the energy being put out there and the two crystals that you can have with you is Jade and uh, Citrine okay when I do the, the conjuring I do it for the collective Okay, and I dispose of it for the collective. I do it for the collective, anyone who's, who is there. But also, you, I send you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it yourself, and you have the recording so you could do it too. And the way my Oversoul called it is called Higher Realm Magic, Higher Magic, where we're taking alchemy and we're mixing it with earth magic. So we're putting it together. So it's really cool. And if anyone, you can still purchase what we did last week, which was for breaking generational curses and karmic, karmic curses, karmic hexes, you know, breaking, I mean, karma, you, you know, bad karma that went back many lifetimes on yourself also because of the Pluto retrograde. That was the big energy we were working with and the violet flame, which appeared on our altar, which was, you could see it in the video. It's just like, wow. And then like the minute I go over the altar, I turn purple. It's like, shh, I turn purple too. It's cool. With the orbs, the five orbs around me because I invoked five five masters including holy amethyst and um and uh, archangel metatron so you can go on higherrealmholistics.com and purchase it and also register for the new webinar and again please put a personal email address so um the whole the whole gemini and tourist thing in aldebaran holy crap that ascension symptom hit me that day, June 3rd. And when I woke up, I, you know, do my stretches in bed, and then I literally roll <laughs> out of my bed onto my chair in front of my altar. Literally, I roll onto it. So I rolled onto it, not even knowing what freaking day it was. And I started, that's a bird actually, I started my meditation. That bird is so loud. <laughs> I started, thank you bird, shush. I started my meditation and I immediately, Archangel Metatron came because I put my amethyst in my hand and I was about to invoke Archangel Metatron and Holy Amethyst, which I have been doing every day since the full moon. I put up that meditation for you guys. It was about um, the liberation of Saturn in order to lift the subjugation of Earth <coughs> using the, the full moon. Uh, in Scorpio with the Pluto retrograde energy so I was doing that and then the minute I put my amethyst on the um, Archangel Metatron seal Archangel Metatron cube I heard it is done that's how it usually goes to me when I know it's finished I hear it I'm told <laughs> by the entity it is done I was like oh it is done I'm like okay why then boof literally it was like oof. I told you it's very dramatic for me. Like my niece says, she goes, "You're you're so dramatic." Even mom says you've always been dramatic. I was like, "What?" And she's like, "But it's in a real great way that you're dramatic." So it was very dramatic for me. It was like, flip this, literally flip the script, like boom. And then I saw the energy of Gemini in the bullseye of Taurus in Aldebaran, and then Archangel Michael. I was like, "Woof, okay, we're we're changing it up. Here we go." And the brain fog hit. The brain fog hit. It was like, where am I? What? What? Where, what's going on? And I've been like that. When I say like that, I'm talking if, yeah. Somebody made a comment last night. 
I left the house and, and I left my I unscrewed my head and I left my head my head in the house that, that literally uh, yesterday I was going to the um, the sound bath which is I kid you not a few miles away from my house how I ended up about 10 miles away I couldn't even tell you I ain't lying I've been to the plaza where the sound bath is so many times because I don't live far from there and I got lost <laughs> I ended up on the highway. I didn't even have to go on the highway. I ended up on the highway. Exits away from my home. I don't know. And my poor niece, everything is, I forgot. What? what? I forgot. She kept telling her friend it was yesterday, though. It was Friday. And her friend's like, no, it's not Friday. She was getting upset because I have the two of them here. And she's like, what day is it? She's like, yeah. she goes, Aunt Reese. That's what she calls me, Reese. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and Reese, what day is it? I'm like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm even worse. I'm like, I don't know, Monday? <laughs> I, I don't know. So it's just been like that. And vision-wise, both of us, I know I'm getting a vision upgrade. I, you know, I'm finally hip to it. Whenever my eyes act like this, where it just, it's sharp one second, and then it's, it's foggy. I literally feel my eyes coming in and out of focus. Literally. So I know I'm getting a vision upgrade. So it's all up here. It's all up here. Drippy sinuses. She's been having a weird headache that would be here one minute, gone the next. A um, lot of third eye energy. The tones changing in the ears. <coughs> and I started coughing again out of the blue. So it's all, it's here. It's, it's right here. Those ascension symptoms right here. I know a lot of people last night saying that they were feeling really sleepy. I'm not feeling sleepy. I know she is. She's feeling groggy and stuff like that. It's just all up here in the head. And it's like, it's annoying because like I'm trying to read, you know, get my formulations together for my conjuring and all that. And, and I'm just like foggy. I can't even focus on the book in front of me. That's how intense it's been. So um, I'm actually going to do one a um a conjuring um for i'm actually gonna do for myself for my niece today and for all my nieces and nephews and my kids too for um mental stability mental stability um focus uh calmness that's what i'm going to do it for for a, a symptom you know for anxiety, depression, I'm going to do that. And I'll do that in the next webinar because we'll still be in this energy. So I'll do that in the next webinar. This webinar, I was guided specifically to do it for money because a lot of us need straight up a lump sum of money. We need a lump sum of money. So that's what we have to conjure right now, a lump sum of money. So, all right, guys, and we'll be working with Aldebaran, Archangel Michael. Um, we'll be working with because uh, that's the energy we'll be working with the Gemini energy we'll be working with the Venus energy uh, Uranus energy to speed things up and the Mars energy because Mars came in strong and he's like he's the he's the divine masculine to the divine feminine of Venus so we have to balance that out and he's the you know yo we're gonna bust through whatever barriers may be put up to you receiving this money so you can get it so to do what you got to do and then oh god I should actually show it to you guys I took I took the kids to this um, buffet place Chinese buffet um, where we're in South Florida so of course they had plantanos you know and some beans and rice some <laughs> roscondules <laughs> we were in South Florida um, so um, the fortune cookie I opened it up I don't eat it but I opened it up and and my fortune said pray for what you want work for what you need how interesting and I was like and I was like I was gonna do my conjuring from for my money when I got home and I was just like oh okay bet and my niece like oh my god it goes with exactly what you're about to do and then hers was about getting a clear mind blah blah help getting a clear mind she's like oh my god look because she asked me to make a, a mojo bag for her for that. And I was like, bet, we got it. I mean, synchronicity is so cool. All right, guys, so I, when it comes to this brain fog, you know, um, I already told you guys what I'm going to do. I already have it right now, as you can see. My eyes, I can't even focus right now. It's just something that I got to write out. You got to write it out. Do some tapping. 
tapping helps. Tap through the, you know, I'm not doing my breathing, but I usually breathe. But tap through, tap through the chakras and tap through your meridians, right? Tap, 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 tap. And oh, I already feel it. While you're tapping through, make sure you're inhaling and exhaling. You inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Oh, I already feel a little better, actually. But my, my, I feel better a little lightheaded wise, but vision wise, no, it's still in and out, in and out. I'm having a hard time focusing right now. No driving for me today, probably. Not when I'm like this. So be careful out there. And also last night, last night, it always happens early in the morning. I did three timeline collapses. I was guided to do it. Three of them. And then it didn't happen yesterday, but it happened the night before. And then it's like going every other day for me. And <clears throat> I did a major timeline collapse this morning that had to do with um, collapsing lower timelines, collapsing a lower, it was very important, a lower timeline when it comes to um, the new world order thing. It was very interesting. I can't talk much about it. I'm not supposed to, but yeah, like that. It was really cool. So collapsed the timeline on that and I was told now we're on a higher timeline. We have to get on the highest timelines. That that's what the timeline collapsing is about. So usually I do. I'm guided to do one for the collective, and then it, within that timeline, there's a personal timeline for me that I need to collapse too. So there were two that I needed to collapse for myself and my family within that collective timeline, that lower timeline that we had to collapse so we could jump to the higher. So. Very interesting. It's it's going to be, it's going to be a bumpy ride, but it it's you know we're winning we're winning this battle, so we can win this war. As we know, we're in a spiritual war, okay, and um, it's getting down to nitty gritty. We're drawing our swords, which is our wands. We're doing that. So, all right, guys, victory. We got this, Lady V out. HigherRealmHolistics.com. Oh yeah, my friend who does the sound bath is Sherry Kaplan.com, and my sister, the one who makes these personalized organite necklaces to help you. This is for my throat chakra. <coughs> she made it for me. Um, she's Pascal Jean Lewis. Was it P Jean Lewis at gmail.com? I'll post it in the description. All right, guys, Lady V out. Love you. Bye.